hello and welcome back to my youtube channel so today i've got a haul to show you from amazon so this is kind of a mixed haul of different items that i've picked up so if you saw my video i think last week i showed some paints that i got from amazon and in that video i explained that i was using a website called top cashback where essentially if you do online shopping with a lot of retailers such as amazon ebay timu etc you can get cash back on your purchases which you can then use and redeem and either get it sent to your bank account or redeem for a gift card so i decided to redeem them for an amazon gift card because you get a little bonus if you do redeem for a gift card and i knew you know the stuff that i actually wanted so i thought that would be a good idea i will leave it linked down below to top cash back um i've got a referral link you do not have to use it but if you want to then you can so it's a really mixed bag of items i got um i've got the paints which obviously i showed in a previous video um i'm currently my phone's currently on a tripod which i got which i can't show you but i will leave a link to that below and then i always get on to the other stuff so the first item is a drink related item and it is this jimmy's iced coffee these are original ones um, and I believe this is like a latte, doesn't say but I think it is a, basically coffee and milk so it's like a latte. I didn't just get one of them, I got a whole pack of 12 for £12 which was um, equals a pound a can. Now I don't know if they were on some kind of promotion or offer or special offer because as far as I'm aware they're normally a little bit more and I think even in the shops if you buy cans individually they can be over a pound. I've had this iced coffee before from the shops, really liked it. So I thought I would get a pack of them because it will last me a long time. And I think they're really good value. If it was more than £12, I wouldn't have purchased it. Um, I think Amazon do some really good drinks and drink offers and big packs of drinks. But you've got to be careful because some of them look like good deals. But when you work it out, it actually doesn't work out as a good deal. So do bear that in mind. Um, they also did different ones. They did a mocha, I think, um, maybe like a black coffee, but that's the one that I went for. Um, like I said, there's a pack of 12, but I just got one to show you. Okay, the next item that I've got is a colouring book. And this is called Comfy Patterns Bold Easy Colouring Book by Coco Wyo. Just looks like this. And this is what it looks like on the back. Now, I have got a flip through of this, which I filmed, I believe, which should be going up as my next video, I think. So do keep an eye out for that. Um, but I'll just give you an example of a couple of pages. It's just like really nice patterns. I think these are going to be so nice and easy to colour. The paper isn't the best paper, as people might know with Coco Wire books. But to be honest, if you put a bit of um, sheet underneath, you can just use markers in this. Really lovely pages to colour. And I don't think it costs very much, so it's a nice size as well. I then picked up this book, which is Draw Your Journal by Bella Mina. Now, I can't remember the name of the YouTube channel, but there's someone on YouTube I've watched, a colouring channel. And she has one of these books or something like that. And here we go. This is what it says. It's basically for people that, that might know it. I think it's called Wreck It Journal, a bit like that. You can kind of just be really creative in this. Now, I had something similar, I would say, when I was younger and I really liked it. So I wanted to give this a go. But essentially, I can show you. So here it says, draw your treasure, draw your lyrics, draw your transformation, like loads of different things, draw your hobbies that you can draw and just be really creative with. You can, it says here at the front of the leaf, obviously some information there, talks about different materials that you can use, different things, just to be really, really creative. I feel like this will be so much fun. I'm not very good at drawing, but I do like drawing sometimes, but I just never know what to draw, never know where to start, and I feel like that would be just a really lovely book. So she did some other ones, or I think another one as well, but this is the one that I picked up. 
it was about nine or ten pounds so not too badly priced i then picked up this little book of tarot by exana eve chown chown i don't know how you pronounce it this is what it looks like and essentially it is just a book all about tarot so it talks about all the different cards an introduction and then at the back it's got like different grids you can do different spreads couple girls mend a broken heart like loads of different things in here discovering past lives i feel like this is going to be so useful so i recently got a set of tarot cards from timu but i don't really know how to use them and i feel like this is going to be so much helpful it's a lot of information to take in and a lot to learn so it is something i'm going to be slowly learning but i am very excited to give this a go i believe This person, or it might be someone different, makes a tarot journal book. And I can't remember the full name of the YouTube channel, but her name is Angela on YouTube. Um, she does, like, diamond painting and craft videos. And she does some tarot stuff, and she had the journal. And I really like the idea of that. But I don't really need another journal. So I just thought this might be good to get me started. Um, and I will be really interested just to see how I get on with this. And then the final two things I picked up were books. I do not need any more books. I've got so many books to read, but I really wanted some more books. So this book is by Christopher Berry D and it's Talking with Psychopaths, A Journal into the Evil Mind. And I picked this up because this is what the back says. I saw this book in WH Smith the other day. I was just looking at their books and this come up as one of their either bestsellers or recommended books. And it sounded really good, so I wanted to buy it. Now, I did read a book very similar a couple of years ago from um, a woman, I think it was, who I can't remember the name of the person. But she made a book very similar where she basically is a, what's it called? I can't remember what she is, like a psychologist. I, I can't remember it what you call them but she basically worked in prisons and was almost like a counsellor or therapist to those that had committed crimes and worked with these people and it was a really really interesting book I feel like this book is very similar so kind of almost like copying what she's done but obviously I can't say that they've done that because I don't know if that's the case and also this person is a criminologist so I feel like this is going to be really really interesting really like the cover really really excited to read this just looks like this um hopefully i can get reading it soon and then the final book i picked up is called push and this is based on a film called precious which i believe i saw many years ago but i can't really remember or i don't know if i watched it all and i'm not sure if anyone else has seen this it's I think it's um, somewhat of a known film, so people might have seen it. But yeah, I really want to read this. I was watching a YouTuber recently who talked about this book. She couldn't read it all because she said it was really, really, really horrific um, and disgusting and just really upsetting. So she couldn't read it. Now, obviously, I am going to probably find it horrific, disgusting upsetting etc but i can read more books like that um as i've read like a lot of books on similar topics before so i am excited to give this a go but if you are interested this is what the blurb says but do go and check trigger warnings beforehand because um yeah it's got some really really tough topics that it talks about in here but i am very excited to give this a go and i might read this as my next book but yeah, that is, let's bring it all back in camera focus, everything that I picked up from Amazon. Obviously, I also got the paints. I also got this tripod. And yeah, I think that was it. So please do give this video a like, subscribe to my channel if you're new, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.